a superhero story needs a superhero to tell it. And that person is the Golden State Warrior! Ow! Soaring through the sky. One man rises from the ashes. The Golden State Warrior. I, uh... Hello, everybody! I am the Golden State Warrior. And welcome to this fact file where today we're going to be talking about the Green Lantern Coaster at Warner Brothers Movie World Australia. Now, I am the Golden State Warrior, a superhero to sell this superhero story. The superhero story of a coaster built by the manufacturing plant known as S and S. It was known as the El Loco model, and today we'll be talking all about it. Now, a big shout out to the fan of the Golden State Warrior that pretty much suggested this video, so a big shout out goes to Thorax Changeling, aka Mensis Unius. A superhero does not burp, he laughs in the face of danger. Now, we're going to talk about all the facts, the stats, the details, and share my predictions because I haven't done this coaster. So before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe for more facts and entertainment, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now guys, let's get into this superhero video. In May 2011, preliminary work, groundwork began on a plot of land in front of Warner Brothers Movie World, and on the 31st of July, 2011, the firm announced a multi-million dollar attraction coming before Christmas 2011. In early September, pieces of SNS roller coaster trap began appearing in the car park, and on the 13th of September, Warner Brothers Movie World began releasing cropped images of the ride's concept art. On the 17th of December, four days later, the final clues were released before the official announcement that evening, announced that the Green Lantern Coaster would feature the steepest drop in the Southern Hemisphere. Also on the 17th of September, the DC Superhero Store opened adjacent to Batman Adventure The Ride 2, Batwing Space Shot, and of course the Green Lantern Coaster. By early October, most of the support structure and lift hill were complete, and by the end of October, the ride's construction halt was complete and work had begun on the entrance pathway. In early November, six trains arrived on site and another was showcased by s, &S at the 2011 IAPA Attractions Expo. Kevin Rower, an SNS Worldwide spokesman, said the ride would be ready for the 15th of December 2011. And the 28th of November, testing began and the ride entered the soft opening phase on the 16th of December before its official opening on the 23rd of December, two days before Christmas Day. When the Green Lantern Coast was announced, few details were released about the ride's drop angle other than it would be the steepest drop in the hemisphere. So in terms of specific stats on this roller coaster, this is an SNS El Loco roller coaster. Now, the El Loco roller coasters first went into production with the first one in 2008 with Steel Hog at Indiana Beach, followed closely by Mumbo Jumbo in 2009 at the UK Flamingoland in Malton, North Yorkshire. Timber Drop in Fraspertuis City in France opened back in 2011, and also in 2011, after that opening, was the Green Lantern Coaster. In 2030, they opened Crazy Bird at Happy Valley before the final one, and currently final one, in 2014, six years ago, when they opened El Loco at the Adventure Dome in Las Vegas. This one has a length of 1,601.1 feet, a height of 108.3 feet, a speed of 41 miles per hour with two inversions, a vertical angle of 120.5 degrees, which makes it the steepest drop in the Southern Hemisphere, and it was designed by Alan Schilke, who of course we now know works with RMC, Rocky Mountain Construction. So that, my fine fellows, is the Green Lantern Coaster. Beautifully told by yours truly, Golden State Warrior. I'm going to hand it to my companion, my psychic, Coaster Chow, as he will tell you his predictions for the rest of the video. I gave my predictions to him because I think you need to hear it from a coaster expert. 
Hello there guys, sorry about that. I didn't know what happened there, I think. Uh... Anyway, I wanted to talk to you about my predictions on the Green Lantern Coaster. So, the Green Lantern Coaster looks a really underrated addition in my opinion back in 2011. And I think that, you know, this coaster has got the steep angle, it's got everything that an El Loco should. And even though I haven't done this coaster particularly, I have done an El Loco. You could probably guess one which one. It is of course El Loco itself, Mumbo Jumbo. At Jumbo Jumbo. I mean, Jumbo Jumbo, it's kind of the same thing. At Flamingo Land in Malta, North Yorkshire. Now, this coaster was great. It was a fantastic roller coaster. And, you know, it was such a great addition at the time. And I think that, you know, Mumbo Jumbo was a great coaster. And it felt very good, that coaster. So, you know, I'm not going to share my thoughts on that coaster in this video. Of course, that's, you know, for reviews and things like that. Uh, but. Um, with Green Lantern Coaster looking pretty similar, if not pretty much a mirror image of that one, uh, just with a steeper drop, I think that, you know, it was definitely going to be, you know, a, um, a great looking coaster. And those of you who have ridden it must agree that it is good to ride these El Loco. It doesn't matter whether it's Green Lantern Coaster or whether it's Mumbo Jumbo or any of these rides. Like, they still feel great to ride on ride. And... You know, they've got this sort of, this overriding feeling of forces about it. You know, you get those those negative G-forces. You get lifted out of your seat as you go down that steep drop. And, you know, that's what a great El Loco does. And from the reviews that this has been getting since 2011, this is a great El Loco roller coaster. So, you know, this is definitely going to be a coaster to watch in years to come. Because I'm sure people will enjoy it. Many other generations will enjoy it. And... You know, we can look back on this and be like, this is a good type of coaster for the world. So, uh, hopefully we do see more El Loco Roller Coasters start popping up. But, you know, we haven't had one since 2014. And I think the reviews that these have been getting have been very good. So, you know, it'd be nice to see an El Loco pop up somewhere else in the UK. Or somewhere else in the world. Just try and, like, a beat, beat the records and things like that. So, you know, it'd be nice to see something like that. But for this one, it is a great El Loco coaster. From the looks of it, and from doing an El Loco myself... I know these are incredible coaster experiences. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, massive shout out to Golden State Warrior, who is some kind of superhero, I've heard. And um, for now, guys, thank you very, very much. My name is Coast Child. Please like, comment, subscribe. And for now, guys, keep on the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.